So what is physics? So I'll let you guys think about this for 20 or 30 seconds, and then I'll let you shout out what you think physics is, or examples of physics, or a term that's related to physics. And people in the chat, feel free to uh, type in what you think physics is. Okay, someone want to share what they think about physics or a physics term or, yeah. Yeah, velocity is, yeah, those are definitely physics things. Anyone else? Yeah. Gravity, yeah. Okay, so those are definitely things that we will talk about in this physics class. You could also say electricity and magnetism. Those are both physics things, and those are things you'll learn about in physics too, assuming you take that. Right, so those are things in physics, but now what is physics? So I like to think about physics as uh, trying to understand the world that we live in using logic, reasoning, and math. So we will do math as this class, much to everyone's horror, I know. But uh, we'll try to make it not scary. Um, okay, so this is kind of a broad definition of physics. So now let's maybe be a bit more specific. And why you should study physics and why you should be interested in physics, even if that's not your major, and you think biology has nothing to do with this, and this is just a required class and you don't want to be Okay, so, and this is maybe me on my own high horse because I'm a physicist, um, but almost everything in the world that we live in is related to physics. Like chemistry is applied physics, Biology is applied physics, engineering is applied physics, music and art are applied physics. Now, there are certainly things within these disciplines that are either too complex for physics or uh, like, for example, in biology, if you're talking about taxonomy, which is naming species and stuff, maybe that's not directly related to physics, but uh, there are a lot of things in biology that are related to physics. So, uh, just to show some examples, so in your, in cells in biology, uh, you have these things called ion channels, which let various ions go from the outside of the cell membrane to the inside of the cell membrane. So ions are charged, uh, elements, charged chemicals, and your cells need these things to uh, be able to carry out whatever specific process they need to do. And the way that these ion channels work uh, is they will only let through things that have the correct charge. So this is an electric charge that has to do with electricity and magnetism. And the way that they uh, move charged particles from one side of the membrane to the other has to do with physics. Okay, so that's just one example. Uh, there's other kind of more far out there, but really cool examples. Uh, some people are studying how, uh, so information theory is uh, a theory about how information is conveyed, whether that be through something like the internet or social media or information through like a culture or a society. Uh, but people are studying how 
information theory uh, can explain something like evolutionary biology. And that information theory, uh, you can write it down as entropy, which is a uh, something that we'll talk about in thermodynamics at the end of this course. Uh, but you can write down those equations and then apply them to evolution and try to explain evolution from a physics point of view. Okay, so those are things that are related to biology, which I think is what most of you guys are studying and uh, how physics is directly applicable to that. And then talk about chemistry. I'm sure you all have seen the periodic table before. This is all physics. So why is hydrogen here and helium over there? So the way that this is laid out has to do with the orientation of the electrons in these different elements. So hydrogen has one electron and helium has two electrons. So why isn't hydrogen just here, one and two? So it has to do with how filled the outer shell of electrons is. So this row of elements only has one electron in its outer shell. Whereas this row has uh, the outer shell of electrons completely filled. So uh, maybe those words don't mean anything to you, but uh, there's a reason why this is the way it is, and that has to do with quantum mechanics, which is another branch of physics. And then something more abstract like music. So, how do you produce sound? on this instrument. You pluck or you strum and these chords start vibrating and when they vibrate at specific frequencies we recognize that as a note. So if you play an A or a B or a C note or chord on this guitar that's a very specific frequency and so the way that that sound wave propagates and the way that we hear it that's all physics. Okay, so that was just a few examples, and physics can apply to a number of different things. So I have these other little bars here. And of course, all of these things can interplay with each other too, right? So chemistry and biology have a huge uh, amount of correlation. So there's a whole branch of chemistry called organic chemistry, which deals with how we get chemical reactions that help with life and all the things that living organisms do. You can talk about biology and engineering going together with, say, creating prosthetic lens or making uh, like artificial hearts for people who have heart conditions or chemistry and engineering. How do we manufacture all the chemicals that we use in our day-to-day -day life? Engineering and music, how do I design an instrument to play the, the musical notes that I want? So there's all these different interties between these things, but kind of the big daddy that is over top of all of them is physics. So that's why I like physics. That's why I think you should like physics. And if not, at least tolerate physics for uh, the class that they okay. uh, So now this is where I break my ego a little bit to show uh, this next slide. <laughs> so I said all these wonderful, wonderful thing about physics and why it's the backbone of everything and why you should care about it. But really, uh, physics is just applied math. <laughs> so uh, if I was really uh, practicing what I preached, I would study math. But Math is even too hard for me sometimes. So, uh, and then, so physics is the application of math that describes our world and our universe. But there's these other branches of math that describe completely other realities than the ones that we live in. And people study these different types of math, and sometimes they can apply what they learn here to what is actually happening in our world which is really cool and really interesting, but it's not what I want to do. Um, so that was kind of my rant about physics and math. 
Uh, but math is obviously very important. So we're going to need math in this class, and we'll try to make it as understandable as possible.